Well, we'll find out a little bit later if my four pictures made it into the final exhibition. But first, let's meet the artists who created the work that I picked out. The artist behind my first picture is 24-year-old Luke Waller, who only graduated from art school last year. The painting uh, is one of nine um, that I did uh, for a series for one of my final year projects. Um, the series telling the story of a song by Tom Waits called Frank's Wild Years. Frank settled down out in the valley and he hung his wild years on a nail that he drove through his wife's forehead. So that explains the interesting title, but it seems the lyrics of Tom Waits aren't the only cultural reference point I've missed in Luke Waller's painting. Fans of the TV series Mad Men will have spotted that the people in his pictures are in fact all characters from the show, set in 1960s New York. Through doing sort of various bits of research, um, I came across Mad Men, uh, this television series that had just been released in America. And the imagery from it was sort of absolutely perfect for the, for the style of paintings that I wanted to do and what I felt the song was telling. This is the first time I submit to the summer exhibition. I like seeing people's reactions when they see my work and um, to, to, have, to have that sort of experience and opportunity at the Royal Academy of all places, um, it, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Next up is printmaker Heidi Plant from Whitstable. My husband built my studio for me. It's nice, it's like a little haven away from uh, the house where I can go and um, concentrate on my artwork. I start off doing lots of loose drawings and then once I feel like I've got enough, um, I'll start um, cutting them up and collaging them um, to get the uh, build the compositions. Um, I really like the the boldness of using the colours and using lots of blocks of colours and I quite like the way it looks as well having uh, having repeats of the same image just slightly different each time. Yeah there's a few bits there that are a little bit off but I quite like that. I like that they're not perfect. Like having the children it's been hard trying to find the time um, to get work done, but um, they've just started nursery three days a week. So now I have uh, yeah three solid days a week to really um, get on with it and uh, make sure you make the most of my time. Like Luke Waller, Heidi Plant hasn't submitted work to the summer exhibition before. These are the first prints I've ever done. Um, I'm just right at the beginning, just starting out. It's quite a gamble um, doing this, uh, especially with children. Um, because I need to be able to pay the bills and um, it's not a very secure job. <laughs> but I just feel very determined and I feel in my heart this is what I'm meant to be doing and this would be a fantastic uh, step up uh, to start my career, hopefully. <laughs> my third artist is Andrew Curtis, an art teacher from Guildford who created the small collage. Most, um, most of the work that I've produced in the last 10 years has been based around where I've been, and I've been lucky to travel widely. This series is about my trip to Iran. Obviously, we were shown the touristic bits, I absorbed the colour, but it also alludes to my grandfather's uh, campaign in the Western Desert during the First World War. Whenever I go abroad, I, I fossick around and pick up bits and pieces, uh, whether they be bits of old newspaper, um, fag packets, the table napkins. Oh, this is a, from a laundry bag, the Iranian laundry bag. I love texture, texture, corrugated cardboard, fantastic. And I will use any kind of uh, medium I like. I, I've even used boot polish at one point. I like this idea that, uh, that the, the collage is literally a palimpsest of one's experience of a place. So you can peel back the layers and see sort of what's underneath in some areas and some not. And it's that layering that I think is, is, is crucial to the success of collage. Andrew Curtis has submitted work to the summer exhibition only once before. It was nearly 30 years ago and he didn't make it into the show. I always go to the summer exhibition. I love it. I always take my students to see it, you know, and if I get in, I'll be very pleased. If I don't get in, uh, that, that uh, it, uh, I'd be disappointed, but I, I, th I want my work to be seen. There's no point in me producing artwork if nobody sees it. 
And so the summer exhibition is a perfect chance to, to show it to the widest possible audience. And finally, Susie Moxhay from London is the artist behind the surreal photo montage. I'm using photography, but I'm not really a conventional photographer. I work from found images, which I'm then building up into almost like three-dimensional montages in my studio, and then re-photographing them and manipulating them on the computer. There's things that filter through into the work, certain films I've seen. I'm very into kind of really old kind of 50s B-movies. I use... Um, quite a lot of images from like New Mexico magazine, for example, and there's another one called Arizona Highways, which has got some really amazing uh, old colour photography in it, and it's got this really kind of flat, oversaturated kind of 1950s colour, um, which is, I find particularly appealing to use in my work. But I do also take a lot of my own photographs as well, and occasionally I'm combining elements from my own photographs into the images. I kind of always have my camera with me in case something catches my eye. The finished images always, always have a slightly different quality when they've been re-photographed again, which is kind of almost taking it even further away from the original photograph. Susie Moxay is a bit of a summer exhibition veteran. I've submitted work and luckily I'm shown work four times at the summer exhibition. When I've shown before, other opportunities have arisen as a result of someone seeing my work at the summer show, so it's been a really good opportunity in that way. There's a lot of um, really interesting artists showing the work there, so it's, you know that there's going to be some really kind of... You're going to be in good company if you've got your work <laughs> shown at the summer exhibition. Ah. <laughs> Getting into the Royal Academy Summer Show isn't just good for an artist's kudos, it can also be pretty good for their bank balance because, let's face it, it's a great place to sell your work. Now, Miranda Sawyer has been to meet some of the art lovers who come here year after year to purchase work by the artists on display. 